Well, 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 it's been a long time. How you doing? <laughs> Hello, Glamour Ghouls! I am back with an all-new video, just for you. For me? If you are new here, hi, I am Pinna Palmer, and I like to keep everything pink and spooky. Woohoo! So today, we're just getting kind of straight to the point. I've done multiple makeup videos before, but I've never done, like, a classic pinup vintage look. I've done a modern take on vintage looks, and I've done creature makeup, painted myself blue for you guys. <laughs> But I've never done something as basic as this. Cutesy, adorable, pinup look. I mean, the classic, the OG, the OG, the original. The original. Because you guys are always leaving me comments like, how did you do your eyeliner? How did you do your lipstick? Can you just do a nose contour video? I, I apologize if that's your voice. Um. It's just the voice I chose. All right, Kermit, thank you. But you get me, you get me, you feel me, you understand me. Okay, great, wonderful, ha! So today I'm just gonna teach you how to do a simple, cute pinup makeup like this. And not just that, we're gonna be using drugstore makeup. Yes, you heard me, drugstore <gasps> drug makeup. Because, well, I am cheap. Resourceful was the word I was trying to use. Whatever. Yes, I'm using drugstore makeup that you could find at your local CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, whatever. Because I am cheap. Because I understand what this economy needs. And every girl knows every time we go shopping and we buy at least just two bottles of lipstick, it is already over a hundred dollars. I am here for the women. Boots for women. I'm just letting you guys know that you can achieve a look like this. Ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, with CVS. Pretty awesome. I like the way you think, my dear. Ding. Okay, pinups, here are some of the items that you are going to need to achieve this look. First, a couple of hydrating primers. I will give more descriptions of which ones I actually use during the process, but I just want to see if you have something like this around your house already. Don't forget a liquid pink blush and a baby powder blush. Perfect for those little rosy cheeks. You're gonna need some setting powder. You are also going to need a contour wand, a concealer, and a pink under eye concealer to conceal the darkness. A foundation of your choice. A vanilla colored eyeliner for your waterline. White is also acceptable. Don't forget your black liquid eyeliner. A pink shade of highlighter. To achieve that pinup red lip, you're going to need a dark brick red lip liner and try to look for an orangey cherry red matte lipstick. To give yourself a nice inner glow, a simple powdered bronzer. Don't forget mascara and your crimping wand. And a setting spray of your choice. And for eyeshadow, you're going to need a vanilla colored eyeshadow and a taupe color for your crease. Those are the only two. And just like that, you're done. Very good pinup. All right, we're going to go back in time. And uh, I got to wipe all this off and start fresh so I can show you guys how to achieve the perfect pinup look. See you guys later. I'm going to look creepy. Bye. <laughs> all right. Now that we have a clean base, I'm just going to start with prepping. I like hydrating. And like I said, we're using cheap products. Okay. Cheap. Uh, this is from Flower. I think this is Drew. This is Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Drew Barrymore is an Afterglow Luminescence from Flower, her brand here. And then I also have Pixies Skin Treats Vitamin C Serum, so, and just lather that all over your face. And then we're also gonna put this Flower Glow Serum all over, oh, Pixie Jizz. Love it. Gross! Go ahead and blend that into your face and just let it get dry and a little bit tacky. Okay. Now we're on to foundation. Today, once again, because cheap, I'm gonna use L'Oreal's Infallible. Oh, this is in the shade 430. So if anybody wants to know, I like myself a little bit um, tanner than my normal pale skin. Liar! And you're just gonna take a wet blush and evenly blend that all over your face. Pat, pat, pat. Next, I'm just gonna kind of bronze myself and I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in 740A, Ticket to Brazil. For the bronzer, I just like to warm up the face a bit and I focus on the high points. So I get around the crown of my forehead, I go down the sides of my temple, 
over a little bit on my cheek and down my jawline and underneath my chin so I could really chisel out so there isn't a double chin action going on. Double chin. So I'm just gonna kind of go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour Stick and we're gonna hit my nose. <laughs> no, like we're just gonna use this. This is kind of like a contour stick. I'm just gonna use it to slim, looks like shit. okay. Slim my nose a little bit here at the edge and I just do two, two natural looking lines like that. And then to give myself a lift, I go underneath like so. Who needs a nose job when you could just draw on your face? Am I right? She's a natural beauty. Yeah. When blending, try not to smear your nose. Try to keep the lines in the same place and use a wet sponge. So I'm gonna leave that like that for now because we're gonna go into more of a highlighting because I want my face to be really bright like a flash of beam just went, you know, and hit it. What we do now, for the Milani Pink Concealer, I'm just putting that over and under my eye just to correct the darkness. Lay on the dark side. And then I'm going to take my normal light cream concealer and put it really heavy underneath my eyes, down my nose, and underneath my nostrils and a little bit on my chin to really brighten up my face. You want to be giving Albino Raccoon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing is real. <laughs> uh, this is the point where I just laugh at myself. And we're just gonna blend that in. Go ahead and take a damp sponge. And just like the contour, you wanna keep the highlighted areas in the same exact spot where we laid them. So blend lightly just to blend out the harsh lines, but don't smear it into other areas of your face. You wanna keep those highlighted areas the only things that are highlighted. Okay, so base is kind of done. I want to now kind of focus on blush. This is where it gets kind of fun. Can't wait. I'm going to use this Maybelline blush stick that I think these are new here. I don't know if you guys could see this. It's in the color blazing blush. He rode a blazing saddle. And I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go in. Oh my. On the high points of my cheek. And this is a very baby pink cool tone blush. Um, and I'm just gonna go in kind of all over. Cause when it comes to pinup for me, at least the cheesecake pinup, they have such blushing cheeks. This is just the beginning of it, you guys. This isn't the full blush that we're doing. No, we're, we're blush is the main folk today, fo focus. With a damp sponge, go ahead and blend that on your cheek. Let's set the face. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. powder here. A uh, Halo Glow setting powder. It's in the color. I don't know. It's the kind of pinky one, though. Idiot. For powder, I'm just focusing on the T zone, which is the middle of my forehead, down my nose, the side of my cheeks, and a little bit on my chin. Now that we are done with the base, we're going to move on to eyebrows right now. We'll go back to blush a little bit later, but I just kind of want to frame my face a little bit more because, as you can see, I'm kind of missing eyebrows here. That's due to Brighter Frankenstein and Gwen Gooley. If you know, you know. But today we're going to be using CoverGirl's Clean Fresh Brow Liner. Ooh, it's, it's, it's not going to focus. This. We're going to use this today. I just ripped all this packaging. Whatever. <laughs> Like I said before, if I have thick eyebrows, I end up looking like Joan Crawford and not like cute Joan Crawford from 1930s. No, no, no. I'm talking about Axe Woman Joan Crawford. Christina! Christopher! Damn it! Mommy dearest, anyone? <laughs> no more! Hang on! For my eyebrows, I like to keep them really thin and I start at the bottom of them and I start sculpting the eyebrows. I add these little flicks of fake hair. Flick like so. I give myself an arch and I really pull out my eyebrow as close to my temple as I can, just to kind of help even out my face. That side's done. I'm going to finish that side and then we're going to continue. So we're going to move on to blushes. We're going to blush the crap out of my entire face. Titter, titter, blush, blush, blush. <laughs> And today we're going to be using one NYX Professionals Makeup Buttermelt Blush. I think these are new. They just came out. And this color, you guys, goes a long way. So be very, be very gentle. And I'm gonna, I like to use a little bit on my hand first. You, you see, because this thing, this thing is vibrant. So I like starting near my hairline. 
and I like it pretty high up, almost kind of like 80s, you know? And then I bring it down at an angle like that. I don't really go, I don't like scooping. Scooping tends to make you look older, at least in my case it does. It does. It really does. So we're gonna do just a little bit on the... I said a little bit! Ah! No! I'm sorry, hold... Please hold... We'll be right back. So sorry, we need to fix this. Okay. <laughs> I told you this blush goes a long way, so... I'm not joking. Lightly finish your blush, and then just to top it off, I'm gonna go back in with the liquid blush that I used earlier and just hit the high points of my cheek, and then I'm gonna blend that in with a wet sponge just to give it some dimension. All right, let's move on, yeah? Yeah. So now we're gonna focus on eyes. The pin-up eye, I mean, this always is a very simple time. This isn't like the 1960s where they had like intense eyeliner going in the middle and big baby doll eyelashes to make the eye wide. It was a very simple cat eye while the focus in the 1950s was a red lip. Hot Hot lips. Lips. These little colors that I'm using here are from L'Oreal. They're pretty awesome. L'Oreal Paris, one of these is in like a vanilla color in the color 200. The other one is L'Oreal Paris in a cool tone in the color 203. So it's kind of like a taupey color. That's what you want for your crease. I'm gonna take a vanilla cream eyeliner and put that in my waterline. And I'm just gonna kind of drag it out towards the end of my eye too, a little out. Once I am done with that, I'm, I'm gonna take that vanilla cream eyeshadow and just apply that all over the top of my lid. Next! Now we're gonna go into the L'Oreal, this kind of taupey color. Be very careful with this color. Like I said, this stuff's pigmented, you guys. What is wrong with you? Now I'm gonna go in with a darker taupe color. And right here, you already could see where my natural crease is. We're just gonna follow that line. And I'm gonna put that eyeshadow just right in the dead center of my crease. And I'm gonna carry it out and kind of wing it out too. Once I'm done with the base of the crease, I'm gonna take a more fluffier brush and just kind of blend it out a little bit so it's not as harsh of a line. It is time for eyeliner. Oh yes, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Eyeliner. Probably the most important part to the eyes of a 1950s eye. Eyes are not the focus of the 50s, but the eyeliner is kind of important and it range from really simple or to a major cat eye, kind of a vampy kind of girl. I like a little bit more exaggerated, so I will be putting a pretty hefty wing in. Hefty, hefty, hefty. But I like to start kind of in the middle of my eye and then I pull out and then I finish. That's what she said. <laughs> and you see, I start with just kind of a wing. Do you see that? Ooh. For the eyeliner, I'll start at the tip and drag it back into the center of my eye. It's the easiest way, and I just fill it in. All right, I'm going to do the other side, and then we'll continue on with the eye. We are almost done. Thank God. With the eyes. Oh, God damn it. I'm going to take an eyelash crimper and some mascara. The mascara I will be using is the Falsies Lash Lift Maybelline New York Ultra Black. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Mascara is pretty self-explanatory. Put some on the top and a little bit on the bottom. We're gonna be using Kiss, the brand Kiss. You can get these at CVS, Walmart, ooh, all that jazz. It's the Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection. Teddy is what they're called, and they're like kind of spiky, but also fluttery and full. Okay, so we're probably gonna cut these. And what I do when I cut them, I'm gonna cut the edge of these here. So I'm probably gonna cut, you see like little strips, like one, two, or three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah, ah. I think I'm gonna cut to the second one right there. I usually have scissors, but when you don't have scissors. Mm -mm. Gross, I know, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This is definitely not sanitary. And I like to put them kind of in the corner edge of my eyes. So not in the dead center, not near like this. You wanna avoid the corner of this eye. You wanna focus more on this eye, this corner. And there, you got kind of like a Marilyn, 
but still like the little spiky, flirty, very pinup kind of eye. We just got a couple more things to do. How many more of these? Lips. We're doing lips, okay? Let's start with the pencil eyeliner first. We're gonna go with the NYX Professional Makeup in Cabaret, and we're gonna start tracing this line. And here we go. Like, look at that. Look how much I... Clown. For this era, do not be afraid to overdraw your lips and really focus on that rounded Cupid's bow. That was the look of the time. Okay, there's the top lip, they have a red mustache. And then for the bottom. Once satisfied with your lip liner, go ahead and just draw a few lines inside it and then blend it with your finger, just to kind of get a simple base down. Pretty, right? Meh. But I'm not done, I'm not satisfied yet. So I'm gonna take this 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 darker kind of red and I'm just gonna kind of focus more on the edges. Now I never used this color of this guy, the one with the creamy lips, but we'll try it. It's a very orangey red, so. Ooh, that's pretty. What's next? What's next? So while this lip is kind of drawing and mattifying, I'm going to go in with my one of my favorite highlighters ever, you guys. This is it right here. <gasps> and this is the Wet n Wild. I, I don't even know what it's called. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. Oh my god, these things have been around for years. And once I discovered this, I keep going back to it. They come in different colors, but I always like this pale kind of pinky one. <laughs> um, It's in the color Blossom Glow. You want blinding wet looking highlighter that stays and for cheap wet wild we're gonna get the high points of this oh you see i love so bright i go the sides of the nose the inner eye you see that pop inner eye and then a little bit on the brow bam oh oh a <laughs> little bit down the nose i don't like to go full nose i just kind of keep it towards like the eyebrows Great, now that the highlighting is done, I'm gonna go back in with this guy in this gloss thing. Watch what it does. Oh my God. It's like that perfect, like, shing, shine, but it's a balm. So it's like moisturizing my lips, but also keeping it intact and it doesn't really move. I love it. For the end, I'm just gonna use the Milani setting spray. Just to kind of lock this all in. And we're done. Finally. With the most pretty, pinky, fresh pinup makeup classic. I mean, this is so cheesecake, you guys, and so fun. You can wear this anywhere. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. And there you have it, the perfect 1950s pinup girl look. Go ahead and comment down below if you want to see any new looks from me. All right, guys, so that is it for my pinup makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really liked it. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys want to see anything else for me to do, try, test, whatever. Don't forget to like and click the bell to notify yourself that I just uploaded a new video. <laughs> so don't forget to keep it pink and spooky. I am Pinup Palmer, and I'll catch you Glamour Ghouls next time. Bye bye Bye-bye. For more pink and spooky content, go ahead and click one of the links below.